Hey guys and welcome back to the Tarantula Cave. My name is Martin and in this week's episode I'm going to tell you about my exploits of hunting tarantulas in beautiful Costa Rica. Those of you who are subscribed to this channel and regular viewers of this channel will know that I have a series about a two week trip to Costa Rica that me and my family took where I documented a lot of stuff to do with wildlife. One of the main goals of that trip was to try and find wild tarantulas because I've seen so many YouTube videos of people finding them in the wild and I really wanted to do that myself. The main issue that I had was that where we were in Costa Rica for most of the trip was actually down the sort of southern coast southwest coast, so Manuel Antonio and the road down to Manuel Antonio from San Jose, which is the capital of Costa Rica. So ultimately those areas aren't very well known for tarantulas and most of the coastal regions where you've got holes in banks, a lot of them are inhabited by land crabs, terrestrial crabs, as opposed to tarantulas, because obviously crabs are hard as nails and can kick the tarantulas out. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to see is some photo and video of me and my friend Jethro and my son trying to find tarantulas in Manuel Antonio National Park. It was a massive failure because all of the holes had crabs in them. After Manuel Antonio we travelled back to San Jose to catch our flight and we stayed in Alajuela which is just to the north of San Jose for the final night. When we walked to dinner that night, um, we actually didn't get into dinner because it was a hotel down the road that wouldn't let us in, yay. But on the way back, I spotted a hole with a tarantula sitting in it. Super exciting. So the next day, came back to try and tickle the tarantula out of its hole. Unfortunately didn't manage to do that but we did catch some video of the front legs and then we found another hole with another tarantula, probably the same species, um, that I also failed to tickle out of its hole. I'm not the best at doing it sadly. And then after that I found a roadkill male tarantula which was definitely a Sferobothria hofmani. So my hunch is that given that Sferobothria hofmani is an obligate burrowing species, a fossorial tarantula that lives in burrows, my hunch is that I found a local population of that particular tarantula species, which is amazing because I don't think there are any records of that species from that locality in Costa Rica. So that made my whole trip, you know, the last day of the trip and I found wild tarantulas. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Check it out. So that's pretty exciting, right? 
At this point, I want to say a massive thank you to Guy Tansley because without him, I wouldn't even have bothered trying to find those tarantulas. I was pretty upset after not finding anything in Manuel Antonio and all the way back every hole I saw, I was trying to tickle tarantulas out of them and not really getting anywhere. And I had a few text messages with Guy and he was like, There'll be tarantulas wherever you are, you just need to try harder. He basically sent me this message. I also want to thank Guy because he's previously done an amazing set of videos from his own exploits in Costa Rica looking for tarantulas and he did actually find Spirobothria hofmani previously, I think probably in the region around Monteverde but I'm not 100% sure, um, which is sort of central mountain range in Costa Rica. Um, but he's very kindly allowed me to use a couple of photos from that video just to show you what an adult female Spirobothria hofmani looks like and that's really cool. So in return, you should all subscribe to his amazing YouTube channel, which is super educational. And if you are really into big spiders and where they live, you should also check out giantspiders.com, his other site. Um, and if you are near to Bugs and Stuff, which is uh, his company, then you should definitely think about getting Guy in to do kind of a exotic pet experience for whatever your event is because he's brilliant at it and he knows his stuff and he's researched it all in the wild so massive thank you to Guy. What a gorgeous species. Uh, the cheapest one I can find in the UK is £70 for an adult female so I'm probably not going to get one anytime soon but it's definitely on my wish list. Um, I think that's about it for this video. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe if you want to get notifications of future videos. Once you've subscribed, you will need to hit the bell icon. As always, share the video with your friends, tell people about the channel, bring people into the community. We are growing all the time and it's really great having you guys here. In the spirit of participation, if you have an urge to go and find tarantulas in the wild, where would you go and what tarantulas would you look for? Leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.